Roger McGoal is here at the AI Conference in San Francisco 2018. I'm here with Levent Besick, who's the Group Product Manager for the Google Cloud. Welcome, Levent. Thank you, Roger. And uh, first, tell me a little about what you do at Google. Sure. So um, I'm a Group Product Lead for our Cloud AI Building Blocks and Solution Teams. And basically, what we do is provide APIs, pre-trained models, as well as customizable models for our developers so that they can easily and quickly add a layer of intelligence into their applications easily without ML expertise, hopefully. Oh, wow, well, that sounds like you're dem democratizing access to this uh, kind of data. What, what kind of things are your customers looking for? So I think uh, one thing that we're seeing a lot in the uh, industry right now is, uh, you know, people kept, kept saying for a while, oh, AI is a hype. I think we're over that. People realize that AI has real power and can power uh, and does power real world applications there with real end business benefits. Uh, I think what people are realizing, however, is that they're still struggling in some, some cases to bring those capabilities into their enterprise, into their business applications. And when you really double click on why that's the case, one thing becomes very obvious to us is that there's a, a severe shortage of AI talent in the world. Uh, we did a study and we found out that there's maybe uh, thousands of data or uh, deep learning uh, researchers out there, maybe a million or two million uh, data scientists out there, most of them in academia or top tech firms. But there are 20 plus million developers, an order of more magnitude developers out there ready to use AI, but just don't have the tools or means to do so. Great. So in democratizing stuff, you mentioned trying to address the skill uh, deficit. What kind of things do you do to help them get going quickly? Absolutely. So uh, first of all, we think that AI is a very powerful technology. It's really foundational and it's going to be revolutionary for obviously how we do things in the cloud. We think it needs to be really uh, accessible to everyone. And that's really our mission, as you said, is to democratize AI, make it easy, fast, and useful mm -hmm. for everyone. Um, and we do that in a couple of ways. First, uh, we obviously want to provide developers ways to have intelligent APIs, such as Envision, Speech, uh, Natural Language, Translation, you name it, or in chatbots, without the need for ML expertise. And we do that through our, what we call, pre-trained APIs. So that's one aspect. However, what we often see in our uh, customers is that they might have use cases where they need to specialize, have a specialized uh, model for their use case. So, you know, the ImageNet models out there are great to uh, differentiate from dogs to cats to different items, but if you want to differentiate between, say, items in your catalog, let's say you're an e-commerce retailer, right, and you have, you know, hats and you have bags and you have shoes and you want to differentiate between all of those, you need to have a special model. And for that, uh, what we uh, is uh, proposing is AutoML, basically a way to easily and quickly provide, uh, create machine learning models that are highly accurate without needing to know anything about ML. Wow, so what kind of uh, work does someone have to do to, to get going on that? Um, uh, it's, 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 it's actually a fascinating topic. Um, uh, obviously, a lot of research and uh, science went into this, but um, uh, from a user perspective, it's super simple. Uh, we have a simple to use UI, all you have to do is bring your training data sets. Uh, let's say that you're a retailer, for instance, you have bags and hats and you know shoes maybe. Just label a few images uploaded as your training set. Um, and if you don't have labeled images, that's okay too. We have actually in our UI capabilities to use third party or internal uh, labeling services. And then once you upload that data, uh, behind the screen, uh, scenes, AutoML is gonna create hundreds of different models using latest AI research like transfer learning, does a, a deep neural network uh, architectural search, and then finds and picks the best model for your use case, and then hooks that up to an API, a REST API that's easy to use, ready to go, and scale. So again, this whole entire process is uh, uh, done through a simple to use UI. And honestly, I think this is gonna be revolutionary because you know, up until now, you know, we really needed that data science uh, AI expertise to iterate mm -hmm. on those models, to create these high accuracy models uh, but now you can actually do that simply on a UI-based system. Great. Do you have any examples of like what people have been able to do with AutoML? Yeah, quite a few. Um, one of my favorites is, because I'm now doing a kitchen remodel, so this actually <laughs> is very, very fitting, is uh, Bloom. Bloom is um, a, hard, a furniture hardware manufacturer uh, globally. If you have kitchen cabinets, you know, you should check them out. The chances are there are Bloom hardware in them. Um, and Bloom was struggling with uh, basically trying to uh, in, among their vast catalog of items they have, uh, struggling to have their customers differentiate between different lines of hinges and pulls. And they knew that AI could be the way to do this, 
but they did not know how to do that because they didn't have any AI or machine learning expertise in their, uh, in their company. So they came to AutoML, and uh, in just five weeks, they were able to create a 91% accurate model wow. to automatically categorize their entire catalog uh, for their users. Now, that just really speaks to the power of this technology, you know, from nothing about knowing about ML to a highly accurate model mm -hmm. uh, in five weeks and be able to deploy it. Uh, that, I think, speaks to the power of this tech. No, that sounds great. Now, there must be some skill level people need to have just to get going on it. Uh, were these business people who were working with that, or like, or program? Like, what kind of person would, yeah, yeah, yeah. do well? So, very good question. And also, there's a larger question. You know, uh, as people come to AI to solve their business problems, they they come at different phases, right, in different roles. Um, so, in this specific case, balloon folks were developers with business folks, obviously coming in to help uh, use AutoML. Um, but in general, I think that's a very key point that you know. To be successful and be able to deploy AI in, in business setting, you need to uh, have tools ready for whatever phase you're in, in that journey. Um, as Google, I think that's one of our strong points where we offer a, a comprehensive set of uh, products across three major categories. Uh, first category is our platform products, where our goal is to really be the best platform, the platform of choice for data scientists, right? Um, uh, and also be able to connect them to uh, a strong community uh, of data scientists through our Calgary, one of the biggest data science communities out there. Um, the second uh, product group that we have is what we call building blocks. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Either pre-trained APIs or customizable models through great AutoML technology. Um, but then also, finally, if you're a business user, right, uh, we also want to be able to help you create uh, great solutions for your workflow challenges in businesses. And for those, we have AI solutions, which we primarily work through our partners uh, and be their AI engine, if you will, as they tackle these uh, thorny workflow challenges. Sounds fascinating. It sounds like you're really pushing AI down pretty low into the world. So thanks again for your time. Thank you. Really appreciate this time.